Hello friends, in this session I am going to explain about the network analysis. In this session I want to cover the portion of the network analysis, definition of the network analysis, network, types of network and a circuit, the types of circuit and fundamental laws I am going to explain in this session. And first we are going to study about the network analysis definition. The definition of the network analysis is, is the process of finding the value of voltage across the current through every component in the network. Means what? It is the process. It is the process. Means for example, I am going to take a small circuit. It is a register. This one is a one more register and one more register. Three registers are there. These are the components. The process finding the voltage across the current through every component. Component are the current is moving in this direction I1 and this one is in your I2. These are the components in the network. The network means to interconnection between the two devices. Interconnection between the two devices means a computer is a one device and uh, one more device is a computer too. I want to transfer the data from one computer to another computer through this network. This is called as a network. There are the many types of the network are there like a LAN, WAN, MAN. These are the networks are there and without the network, without the network circuit we can draw it. Without a network circuit we can draw it but without a circuit network will not work. This is the uh, definition of the network. And next I am going to explain about the circuit. Circuit is a main part in the any electrical and the electronic devices or uh, anything else. If you have a mobile phone without the circuit, the mobile phone will not work. Right. The definition of the circuit is a circuit is a closed conducting path through which an electric current flows means it is a closed conducting path through which an electric current flows. Electric current flows in this direction in the opposite direction or a forward or a reverse by asking it is a current is moving I1, I2, I3. These are the current flowing is uh, this is circuit RLC register inductance and the capacitor these are the components the flows the current in this circuit it is called it as a circuit there are the two types of the circuit one is a open circuit and one more is a closed circuit the definition of the open circuit is is a network the current is flowing in the circuit the load resistance the load resistance is infinity and the current equals to zero the current makes constant it is called it as a open circuit right and for example open circuit i am going to take the open switch elements like this one is a switching element this one is a voltage supply V and the voltage is passes and the current is moving in this direction but the after the, the, the switch is open the current will does not move in this direction the bulb will be in the off condition. In the closed circuit, closed circuit the network it is there with, the, with respect to the current with the RL load resistance RL equals to zero the voltage becomes zero the constant voltage it maintains it is called it as a closed circuit the switch of this circuit is when the supplying voltage is V and the current is moving in this direction the switch is closed the bulb is on condition that is called it as a closed circuit these are the two types of the circuit one more it is there it is a short circuit short circuit current we are using it is means the replacing the load resistance becomes zero the closed circuit we can call it as a short circuit also yes next is a linear circuit means those are the short circuit and the open circuit these are the 
types of the circuit these are the types of the circuit it is a, it represents the shape of the circuit and the what kind of uh, uh, theory what kind of the component we have to used depends on these kinds of the circuits first one is a linear circuit is one whose parameter do not change the parameter do not change means resistance inductance capacitor is the different resistance and the resistors are the different resistance means it is not fixed value we can find find out and calculate it and we can arrange it but the resistors are the fixed fixed value it is called it as a a linear circuit in one whose parameter do not change that is a resistors inductors and the capacitors we can use this is the resistance inductance and the capacitor rlc circuits are the linear circuits and the non linear circuit one whose parameter change with respect to the voltage or a current means for example if you change the voltage the current will also change with respect to uh, temperature with respect to current for example i am going to take a diode diode it is a forward as well as a reversed biased and i am going to take the transistors transistor it is also emitter current is different and the base current is different it is vary with the with respect to the voltage these are the non linear circuit means it is not a constant values which has uh maintain and the voltage will change with respect to current means the for example many of the circuits you you are seeing voltage and the current if it is the voltage is increasing and the current is increasing in the ohms law you have seen v equals to i into r means v is increasing i is also increasing these kinds of the circuits unilateral circuit the circuit whose properties or a characteristics change with the direction of its operation for example rectifier diodes you have studied one uh, two diodes are there d1 and d2 this one is your d1 and this one is your d2 it is the d1 is forward biasing that time d2 is a reverse biased condition d2 is a forward biased and the d1 is a reverse biased condition it is there in a full wave rectifier circuit and next is a bilateral circuit it is same like a linear circuit only one direction there is no other directions they are moving it is called it as a bilateral bilateral the next in the circuit we are going to study about the if you join the two or more resistors at a one time for example this one is a resistance and this one is a resistance this one is your capacitor it is joining we are denoting the many of the definition of the circuits not a circuit it is the circuits whatever we are telling this junction and this is call it as a one more a node loop there are the different names of the names for the circuit it is there we are going to study about these parameters elements of an electric circuit means in an electric circuit there are the elements are there means the junction branch node and mesh and loop these are the elements of an electric circuit first we are going to study about the junction before going to study about this definition of the junction is i am going to take a single example of that r1 r2 and r3 three register i am going to take and the two power supplies yes e1 and e2 are the 
वोल्टेज सोर्सेस आई एम गोइंग टू टेक दैट वन एंड ये बी सी डी ई एफ आई एम नेमिंग दिस कंपोनेंट्स टू देम इन टू द सर्क्यूट जंक्शन मीन्स वॉट थ्री और मोर ब्रांचेस ब्रांचेस meet together is called junction what they told that three or more branches meet together is called it as a junction branches it is there first we are going to study about the branch branch means what a branch represents a single element such as a register or a battery for example in this uh, circuit i am going to take that B A F E it is a branch B A F E it is a branch and B E D C B E D C we can take it or B C D E we can take it is also a branch and this is also a branch B and E these are the branches for example this one this one and the this one these are the branches right first of all three or more branches meet together where it is a meeting here three branches are there no one and two only two it is there here it is there one two three it is here there here there for example b and e correct only b and e is a junction right next i am going to take a session on the nodes nodes means what nodes means what it is a is the point of connection between two or more branches here three branches here only a two branches what are those in the a branch how many are there r1 and e1 right this is also a node and next it is for b how many are there two or more it is if it is a four five whatever it is there right next in the b r1 r2 and r3 correct in c r2 and e2 in the d how many are there e2 and only one branch it is there that's why that is not a node right in e r3 only r3 mm only r3 it is there no e1 and e2 we can take it no oh, it is also not a node and next it is a f e1 and r3 it is there yes these are the nodes and we can take it also e equals to r3 e2 even we can take it 
right r3 equals to r3 e2 and e1 it is there correct these are the nodes next is a we can study about the mesh mesh we can study about that closed path closed path of a network not divided not divided means it is a not divide the circuit it is a full circuit it is here it is a divided that's why a b a b e f a a b e f a a b e f a is a mesh and next it is a, a b c b c d e b is a mesh but a c d f a is a not a no uh, not a mesh means a c d f a is a not a mesh it is not a mesh for example a b c d e f a it is also a not a mesh right next we are going to study about the loop loop means what first closed path of a network the network means a b e f a a b e f a it is a loop and b c d e b it is also a loop next it is b c d b it is right next a c it is also a a c d f a a c d f a a c d f a a c d f a it is a loop but it is not a mesh right these are the circuit electric circuit elements these are the electric circuit elements these are the very important to solve the equations of the circuit analysis right next we are going to study about the fundamental laws of electric circuits fundamental laws here in the electric circuit we are without the ohms law we can't find the many of the voltage and the current these are the very important thing it is is the fundamental laws it is the ohms law it is the main basic formula for the uh, fundamental laws in the electric circuit means you have studied in your puc also v equals to i into r right v uh, v equals to i into r you have studied in your puc and also we can studied about the series and the parallel circuit series and a parallel circuit right if it is the circuit it is in series right v1 v2 v1 v2 i1 r1 i2 r2 for example the resistance are in series resistance are in series the what will come r1 plus r2 that's why in this time we are going to take that v1 equals to i1 r1 plus 
v2 equals to i2 r2 right we are going to take that r1 plus r2 equals to ri means ri1 plus ri2 equals to ri we can take it right the resistance are in series if in case the resistance are in parallel r1 r2 v1 ri1 r2 i2 it is in the v2 the resistance are in series that time v by v1 r1 plus v2 r2 divided by v by r r1 equals to r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 you have studied in your puc correct v1 plus v2 equals to v correct it is the R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. These are the uh, series and the parallel circuit. Next, we are going to study about the Kirchhoff laws. There are the two laws explained in the Kirchhoff laws. One is a KCL and one uh, one more is a KVL. KCL means Kirchhoff current loss and Kirchhoff voltage law. In the Kirchhoff current loss, algebraic sum of of the current entering a node is zero means summation i equals to zero next we are going to study about the kirchhoff voltage laws first we are going to study about the kirchhoff current law means for example this one is your incoming current this one is also incoming current it is outgoing current this one is outgoing current incoming current i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 my incoming current equals to positive positive is incoming current And negative is outgoing current. Going current. Right. For example, I1 is incoming current. I2 is incoming current. Minus sign is I3. Minus sign is I4. And I5 is a incoming current plus I5 equals to I1 plus I2 plus I5 equals to I3 plus I4. These are the Kirchhoff current law. In the next class, uh, in the next session, I am going to explain about the Kirchhoff voltage laws. Kirchhoff voltage law. Kirchhoff voltage law is the main important law in the electrical circuit. Why? Because of the many of the uh, uh, means it is the many of the circuits are solved by this equations. Voltage, how to calculate the voltage and the resistance and the non-linear circuits means the higher circuits. The many of the components they can use, we can solve it by this circuit and the first we are going to uh, state the Kirchhoff law is you have already studied in your um, uh, PUCT se section 
algebraic sum of algebraic sum of all voltages around a closed path is zero algebraic sum of all voltage around a closed path is zero means v equals to i into r one more definition we can use it algebraic sum of the current and the resistance around a closed path is also zero it's the same way in this circuit we are not taking the single line we can take it in the many of the content this is a circuit the current is moving the voltage is moving in this direction v1 v2 v3 and v4 right the voltage is moving in this direction means like that the it is in the opposite direction minus v1 this is plus v2 this one is which direction it is in this direction it is minus v3 yes now i am going to take this direction plus v3 and next one is a plus v4 we can take it v1 equals to v2 plus v3 plus v4 this is a circuit and one more circuit i am going to take to explain about the kirchhoff voltage loss like this one is your resistance inductance and the capacitor this one is a positive and negative positive negative positive negative the current is moving in this direction positive negative in this direction we are going to take the vr vl and vc we are going to take that one it is the minus vr minus vl minus vc right for example current is moving in this direction current is moving in this direction i am going to take negative to positive it is the plus vc equals to v right v v s equals to vl plus vc equals to vs this is the circuit the current is flowing in this direction right and we are study about the batteries batteries how it is work voltage for example i am going to take the positive negative this one is a positive negative the current the current is flowing positive to negative it is the fall in voltage means e it is the minus e or same the current or a voltage it is moving in this direction current i1 the voltage is becomes plus e rising voltage rising rising voltage right this is the falling voltage the current is moving in this direction positive to negative it is a fall in the voltage in the current is negative to 
positive it is a rising voltage and next we can take the register also positive and negative the V it is flowing in this direction it is a fall in voltage V and same way we are taking the resistance positive to negative in this direction um, R V it is a rising voltage voltage right these are the voltage analysis for this circuit now I am going to take an example on that Kirchhoff laws that are for example I am going to take the uh, just I am going to take the voltage sources yes Twenty volt, fifty volt, thirty volt. Yes, ten volt. For example, the loop. I'm going to take a loop of A B C D. A B C D A. Yes, it is a plus Vs negative positive, right? Plus Vs plus ten volt, right? And minus twenty. Minus 20 and positive to negative. Minus 50. Right. Next, negative to positive. Plus 30. How much it is? Yes, equals to. It is a negative. Minus 70 plus 30. plus 30 Vs equals to plus 10 minus 20 it is a plus 10 minus 20 it is minus 10 minus 60 plus 30 equals to plus Vs equals to 30 volt it is a calculation for the how to calculate in your circuit and one more example you can take like that. It is a positive, negative. Yes. This one is negative and the positive. The current is flowing in this direction, I1, it is 20, 30, 50. It is negative towards the positive. It is a minus 20 plus Vs minus 20 minus 30 minus 50. Vs equals to 50, 100. You can take like that. Right. We, we have to study about the KVL laws and in the further classes we are going to explain about the voltage sources and the current sources. Thank you. Thank you so much.